there! Welcome to Sunday Crafternoons with the Saskatoon Public Library. My name is Erin and I'm really excited to be joining you today from my home, which is in Treaty 6 territory and the homeland of the Métis. Now for this, our first Crafternoons project, I'm thinking ahead to October and the holidays in that month, and also considering the fact that most of my craft projects don't necessarily turn out Pinterest worthy. So with that in mind, I thought that today we would kick things off with an ugly Thanksgiving centerpiece. So we are going to be using a pumpkin and turning it into a turkey with a whole bunch of kitchen utensils. So for this project you're going to need a pumpkin, any size, any shape will do, assorted utensils from your kitchen. So I've got forks, knives, chopsticks, spoons, I gathered up some things like beaters and whisks. Um, I'm going to be using a kitchen funnel as the head of the turkey. So if you don't have a funnel, you could find anything else that looks like it'll be vaguely the right size and shape for your turkey head. You could use a foam ball, you could use a rolled up piece of paper. If you shape it kind of like a cone, that's probably what you want for the turkey beak. And I've also gone outside and just gathered assorted leaves, dead things from my garden, stuff like that that I'm going to be using just to fill out the centerpiece. I have a few decorative gourds a pair, scissors, tapes, and googly eyes. Now with all of that, let's get started. All right, our first step is going to be attaching the turkey head to your pumpkin. Now, I was experimenting with this earlier, so I've already put a hole in my pumpkin here. I did that just with a pair of kitchen shears. Um, you could use anything that you can stab a hole in a pumpkin with. A butter knife will probably do the trick. And I've just scraped it out. I haven't hollowed my pumpkin or anything like that. And this took some experimenting. So I want to get my turkey head kind of jammed in to the side of the pumpkin so that it's going to stay. And I think that'll work. So this will probably take some trial and error. See which side of your pumpkin you think will look the best for the front of your turkey. It's really up to you. Now with that, before I start adding the turkey tail, I want to make it look alive. And the way to do that, for me, is to add eyes. So I picked out some very large googly eyes, and I'm going to attach them to my funnel with a little bit of duct tape. One eye there, if it's going to stick for me. And second eye over here. Here we go. I think they're a little bit lopsided. I'm going to adjust that one up. And I think that will do nicely. All right, the next step is the fun step. We're going to be taking whatever kitchen utensils you like, jamming it into your turkey to give it a tail. Now I found that I thought I was going to have to drill holes into this with a screwdriver or something, but actually the blunt end of your utensils are strong enough to poke holes in a pumpkin. So I'm going to start with I think just some forks and knives. There's one. This is the start. Um, I at first started just using spoons because I thought they looked the nicest and then I quickly ran out of spoons. So I'm now alternating spoons and forks for this kind of tall back of my turkey tail. a little bit more with more layers of forks and spoons. So this next one I'm starting a new row that I'm gonna put in a little bit lower to 
fill out in front. One's falling in, so I'm going to put it off the side. Now one thing to keep in mind as you're doing this is that it's very easy to stab yourself with the forks that you've already put in the turkey. So I recommend either being super duper careful as you're adding in more utensils around those forks, or you might want to just mark the spot where the fork is and then take it out, put in the spoons around, and then put it back in. So I finished ish my second row of utensils in here and now I've started just adding in a final front row where I'm jamming the utensils all the way down so that just the head of the spoon or fork is showing above the pumpkin. As you go, you might find, as I am, that with lots of utensils jammed in here, they're starting to kind of hit each other within the pumpkin. So you might get a little limited in what you can put in, but the good thing about this project is that nothing is set in stone. You can just pull them out and continue on. So that's looking pretty good. I think I need one more fork over here on this side. All right, now so far I've just used my standard utensils and I've got a few other things that I think are a little bit more fun. So I'm going to try some chopsticks and put them in the very back. Maybe I'll lower these ones down so the chopsticks are visible. I think these chopsticks create a nice little plume of the turkey. Or at least they add some variety and make it look extra ridiculous, which I'll remind you, we are going for ugly Thanksgiving turkeys, not beautiful ones. All right, finally, I think the little beaters will add a fair bit of fun variety to this turkey. and whisk over on each side and let's see maybe we've got some empty space back here so I'm just going to put the last couple forks in. I'm turn this turkey around and oh yes I am pleased with how that guy's turning out. This is the base of the project. I think he looks pretty excellent right now, but he is missing little wings. And so, I don't really have anything from my kitchen that I can think of that will make wing shapes. So I'm going to try using some large leaves. I don't know what kind of tree these are from, but they were growing along the side of the fence in my backyard and I decided to pick a couple. I'm going to jam a new hole in the side of my pumpkin using one of my chopsticks. One on each side. I'm just kind of guessing where I think the turkey's wings should go. And then I'm going to take my leaf and stick it 
in that hole. I'm just using the little base of the stem of the leaf, probably can't really see it, and threading that in to the hole I made in the side of the pumpkin. Now the leaves aren't really hanging the way I would like for them to, so I'm just going to use a bit of scotch tape to tape them in place hold them back against the pumpkin. And with that, I'm pretty satisfied with my turkey. Now you might want to add feet to yours. I found when I was experimenting that spatulas do a pretty good job, and they kind of look funny and broken. However, even though I think my turkey is complete, the centerpiece isn't quite there yet. The turkey needs somewhere to sit. So I'm going to use a large serving tray. If you have a baking sheet, a large plate, anything like that will do. And it's also not super necessary. Now I'm just going to arrange some leaves, dead ferns, just scatter them on this plate in any way that looks vaguely like it might be nice. Center my turkey on that plate and add in a few more. I have some decorative red berries from a mountain ash, poisonous, so don't maybe put them out if you've got kids around at home. Also don't snack on them if you're getting hungry. And I'm just scattering some more dead leaves, some more bits of dill that dried out in my garden. that's looking sufficient. And then finally, to give my turkey some friends, I have taken my remaining googly eyes and attached them to my pumpkin, my pumpkin, my pear, and a couple of my decorative gourds. So I'm just going to take these little guys and nestle them in next to my turkey on my serving tray. This step is obviously optional. If you think they look ridiculous, you're free to leave them out. I think they're fun. I've also just put in a few more gourds that don't have googly eyes attached to them, just to fill out the tray. And I think the fun part about this is that if you don't want to make a turkey, this is also an extremely easy little craft that you could do with your kids, or without kids, to have some sort of Thanksgiving craft project or Thanksgiving decoration around your house that's just a little bit hilarious. Googly eyes and any sort of decorative gourd or fruit. All right, with that in mind, I'm pretty happy with my arrangement, so I'm just going to lift it up here where it's visible to the camera. Here we are. This is my most beautiful, ugly Thanksgiving turkey centerpiece, and I hope that you can do one of your own, and maybe share it with us in the comments. Thanks.